Layers are a big part of any image editing application. Layers provide the flexibility to add or edit elements of an image non-destructively. To select, create, organize, or remove layers, you'll need the Layers Palette. If the Layers Palette is invisible, you can activate it using the View menu or typing Command 2. In this document, I have two layers. Untitled layer, which contains the blue box, and background, which is the full landscape image. The layer that's currently active is highlighted in blue. If I have the untitled layer activated, when I use the Move tool, only the box will be moved. And if I use the Brush tool, it will paint on this layer. The checkbox to the right of the layer name will hide or show the layer. I can rename the layer just by double clicking on the name. At the bottom of the layer palette, I can adjust the opacity and the blend mode of the current active layer. Just use the slider here to change the opacity. Blending modes cause the colors in an, in an active layer to interact with the layer or layers below it in different ways. If I switch the blending for the blue box layer to multiply, it becomes somewhat transparent and the blue will blend differently with the colors in the background layer. The look is varied as I switch to different blending modes, like screen or overlay. Blending modes can be used to adjust or enhance the colors in a photo. I'll hide the blue box layer, then duplicate the background layer and name it Blend. If I switch to Multiply, the bottom half of the image gets very dark, but the sun and sky areas are improved in their color and saturation. Changing to Overlay has a somewhat similar effect. I'll go back to Multiply though, and what I might do then is remove the bottom half of the Blend layer, and maybe just dial down the opacity of the top half a little, to bring out the sunset and sky a little in this photo. The plus and minus buttons at the bottom of the layer palette will add or remove layers. I'll add a new layer with a different colored box in it. To the right of the Add and Remove Layer buttons is an Action menu, which contains several different layer commands and options, most of which we will cover in the Layer Menu lesson. 